Hey everybody, I've got some disturbing news in my hands. It's gonna start with the pro-life uh, booth at a school being destroyed by a professor and then this said professor holding a machete to a reporter's neck when he just wanted some questions answered. I'll talk about that and roll that clip in a minute. There's some new hate crime laws rolling out across the globe actually, but we're gonna talk about the one in Ireland at the moment that looks like it was created from the book 1984. Like they tr they're treating this book as a manual, not a warning, like it was supposed to be taken. And San Francisco is covered in poo. Turns out it really is a crap hole. We're gonna talk about why and how it got there. What were the actions that were taken or maybe the actions that weren't taken? Why did this happen? Well, let's get into it. Hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell if you like this kind of information. I will try to keep it factual. I will try to keep my opinion out of it. That is going to be extremely tough. I will have to bring up some things, my, my, my views, but I don't want this to persuade anybody one way or another. I want you to kind of think through it on your own. Come up with obvious clues and, and, and reason. You know, just it seems like it's uh, not normal to think like that. It's just like... Somebody's got a, a, a feeling or maybe a transgression that they are let spill out of them like this lady here that's destroying this booth. She is tormented on the inside. That's what I see. When I see this, I see a lady that is slapped full of hate and torment. She is in a sad place. I'm going to roll the clip and let me know what you think. Roll it. You're not educating shit. This is fucking propaganda. What are you gonna do, like anti-trans next? Is that what you're gonna do next? I mean, no, we're, we're talking about abortion. This is bullshit. Yeah, this is violent. You're triggering my students. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You're, no, you're not. Because you I'm can't sorry. even have a fucking baby. That so you don't true. even know There's what that is. You don't even know what this is. Get this shit the fuck out of here, bro. Fuck this shit. So was the exhibit violent? I don't think so. I think her transgressions are haunting her. The new hate crime law in Ireland. Now this is dystopian as it gets. Ireland is on the verge of passing the most aggressive hate crime in the European Union. The first legal protections for transgender individuals. Uh, critics are saying the bill's language could be used to enforce an increasingly Irish government's woke agenda. Now, uh, it's worth noting that the Prime Minister, or the Tushua, Tishua, Tushua, <laughs> I don't know how you say it, he's openly gay, but whatever, and the bill that started in 1989 already included race, color, nationality, religion, gender, sex, characteristics, sexual orientation, and disability. So it included all the things, all the key words. But the bill threats not just public presentation or dissemination of material deemed hateful, but also private preparation, listen real close, private preparation or even storing materials deemed hateful, such as memes on your phone or books on your shelf. Individuals convicted on such charges face fines up to 5,400 American dollars, and anywhere from six months to two years in prison. Quote, will allow for the hate crime label to follow an offender into court, police vetting, and so on. In order to obtain a search warrant, all that is needed is the police offers an oath sworn before a judge that their quote, are responsible, uh, reasonable grounds for suspecting that violence of or relating to hate speech may have been given in place. Police are empowered to confiscate any phone or laptop and demand passwords and encryption keys. Failure to hand over your phone or laptop or password or encryption key will result in a uh, $5,000 fine and up to one year in jail. And one respondent wrote, 
criticizing the bill, saying George Orwell's 1984 is not an instruction manual. It was a warning. A hate crime incident is any incident which is perceived by any person to be motivated by hostile or prejudiced. This is to say hate incidents are incidents in which an individual feels, we're dealing with feelings, that he or she is hated, according to the new police definition. Under this definition, reports to the police of hate crimes have skyrocketed over the past two years, going from 24 reports in 2021 to 97 in 2022. Last year, school teacher, and this is a sad story, Enoch Burke was jailed after refusing to call a student by them, they pronouns, citing his Christian faith. He was held in contempt of court, placed in solitary confinement in Dublin's prison, where he was held for almost four months. Just days ago, Ireland's high court ruled that Burke's employer was right to suspend him for upholding his Christian beliefs. This is unbelievable. Now, in the United States, it's in the same article, the FBI has relied on the left-wing Southern Poverty Law Center. I want you guys to, to Google that. Left-wing Southern Poverty Law Center. I did. They have a hate map. They have all, they, check it out. It's nutty. I had no idea this existed, and the FBI is relying on it. Which classifies Christian identity and radical traditional Catholicism as threats on par with the Ku Klux Klan and neo-Nazis. The weaponization of the federal government was actually put into action. On the advice of the bipartisan SPLC, the FBI branded an entire swath of American Catholics racially or ethically motivated violent extremists. Two plus two equals five. That's what, that's what they're saying. This is wrong because I said so. That's it. That's all you need to know. Now you go to jail. And who knows? Who knows what, you know, you could stay in there. That's what they did back then. Uh, they would make you, uh, and they, this go, went on in Russia, this went on uh, everywhere, this happened before. They would torture you until you said whatever they wanted you to say. And then they convict you of the crime you, you pled guilty to. That m maybe it sounds crazy, but it's true. So just remember, this stuff already starts somewhere else first, and... I had no idea about that organization. I really want you to look it up. Okay, back to San Francisco. San Francisco is literally a crap hole right now. But let's go before that. Let's go back to 2019. San Francisco is the nation's leader in property crime. Now this is back then. Burglary, larceny, shoplifting, vandalism are all included under this umbrella. The rate of car break-in back then was 51 per day. Many in law enforcement, enforcement blame the crime wave on Proposition 47. Oh, you mean that's what's going on. Which in 2014 downgraded many uh, possession of illegal narcotics for personal use and theft of anything under 950 bucks. Felonies and misdemeanors, uh, anti-incarceration advocates disagree, but now human feces and filth and homelessness was up 17% in 2017. So this was back then. This is what was happening then. And now there's poop everywhere. San Francisco's office district, not only a ghost town, it's also covered in caca. And they are hiring, uh, the city is required to hire six-figure poop patrols. So if you want to make a hundred plus thousand a year, you can go pick up poop on the cleanup team. 
Feces were found far more often in commercial sectors, covering approximately 50% of the street segments in key commercial areas and 30% citywide survey. Second only to broken glass. So the, you, if you see uh, you know, some broken glass, you're more than likely gonna see some poop. Feces also includes bags filled with feces that are not inside trash receptacles. Feces that are spread and smeared on the streets and sidewalks and other objects. Stains that appear to be related to feces but have been cleaned are not, are not counted. Bird droppings are excluded. So it's not bird poop. And this is a quote from a man that lives there. It's terrible. The streets are covered. There's poop everywhere. You always see it along the wall and in front of the gar uh, garage there. Nearly two-thirds of the commercial routes reported moderate to severe street litter. 41% of the city streets struggling with the same problem. San Francisco's commercial residence areas are also highly tagged up with every neighborhood except one. Uh, and this is Vesitskan Valley. I guess that's where the rich people live. 71% said there is severe to mod moderate graffiti. Okay, so this is what happens. You know, defund the police. Or uh, let's, let's do the exact opposite of what we should do and let's see what the outcomes are. And if you see the outcome, say, hey, this is because we did the wrong thing. You're immediately a fascist and you're full of hate. It's crazy, guys. This news, I, I'm not making it up. I, I'm not, this is actually the news. This is what's going on all over the globe. If we would just follow those 10 commandments, would any of this be going on? Not none of it. You know, it's, it's, we're at the end, I think. Guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of this community. We're going to keep on going with this news, and I'm going to try to keep it facts only. My opinion will slip in there every now and then, but um, let me know what you think. Have an awesome, awesome day. Later.